Good evening. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Kira Krivash. Uh, by day, I'm an assistant Cuyahoga County prosecutor, and by night, I'm heavily involved in nonprofit work. It's one of the reasons why I joined Cleveland Bridge Builders and to be a part of the Best 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 <laughs> we have a few lawyers in our class, and us lawyers can get a bad rap. Uh, in fact, my first day at Bridge Builders, I was told I'm too nice to be a prosecutor, which is strange, because I'm not that nice. <laughs> the thing about lawyers is they're there when you need them, especially when you need them to advocate on your behalf. That's where I come in. I represent the plaintiff, my fellow Bridge Builder classmates, class of 20. <coughs> There have been classes over the years who have claimed that they have the title of best class ever, but today, we finally put that argument to rest. <laughs> we are the best class ever. I'm just tired today. <laughs> so us attorneys, we typically establish our cases through elements or standards of proof to prove our case. So these are the closing arguments establishing that we are, in fact, the best class ever. So, may it please the court, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen of the jury, fellow bridge builders, honored guests, the Honorable Rachel, <laughs> the great civil rights activist John Lewis has established what I feel to be the definition of what a great modern leader entails. Be bold, be brave, be courageous, and find a way to get in the way. So these are the elements we're going to be looking at tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the evidence that we have presented over the past year shows overwhelmingly <laughs> <laughs> the best and Don't ask me questions because this is science. <laughs>
comparison to other classes. <laughs> so we respectfully request that this court, if it was remarked as plaintiff's exhibit number two, into evidence. So marked and accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Being courageous, we had the courage to start difficult conversations. We had the courage to trust the process. <laughs> we had the courage to introduce ourselves to the celebrities. We were courageous enough to be vulnerable in our vision stands and our dreams for the future. And we had the courage to celebrate everyone and everything in life. So as you can see, our class has met every element that we have listed. But what sets the bar higher for our class is not what we did better, but what we do and what we did differently. We ask challenging questions, consistently not taking anything at face value and providing greater perspective. Almost every speaker walked away slightly traumatized. <laughs> continuous effort. In John Peeney's dead last speech, it resonated with a lot of us. And we asked him how to get a seat at the table. He said, no one wants to give it to you. You have to take it. We have to take it. That is our continuous mission. To be unafraid, unwavering to our cause, and to lean on those we have bonded with when the struggle seems insurmountable. So don't let this be the end of your questioning, the end of your demanding your community do better. Odds are in your favor that 60 other people in this room will join you in your mission. We have set the bar very high. The standards we have set set us apart from others. Our standards to do better, to expect more from ourselves, our businesses, our organizations, our community. That questioning, that drive, that ambition, those attributes make us the best. <laughs> And this court should make a finding of such. So never stop being bold, being brave, and being courageous, and keep finding a way to get in the way. And in closing, I want to thank Rachel, Nicole, and Mary Ann for your efforts this year. Managing us was not an easy task. <laughs> and here's a token of appreciation from the entire class. Uh, to that end, there is musical treats for you all. Yes. From some of our own regulars. Thank you.